Hello everybody, it is Rhino here, Oliver there, Greg over there, and we are at the, what is this, a preview, the first preview open to the public of Toothsome, give me the full name here. The Chocolate Emporium. The Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. And, and Savory Feast Kitchen. Yes, we are one of the first groups to have gotten sat, sat here. We have put in an appetizer order already and um, some milkshakes, of course, necessity. Um, but already, what do you think of this place already vibe-wise? It's amazing. So the whole theme of the restaurant has got like a steampunky kind of um, gist to it. So uh, yeah, it's good. Thank really, you. really good. The, they were spot on with the theming. Don't you agree, Rhino? Like the whole like costumes they're wearing, the setting, like they've got these cages around them, they've got like Edison bulbs in there. It feels really nice, lots of dark woods. Um, yeah, there's there's yeah. a character walking around too. There there's is, the yeah. Professor or Dr. Professor uh, Penelope Stranger. It's Penelope, it's in the first page right yeah, here. You could cute. It is. Um, and she's a time traveler. Thibaut Tinker Tucson. So this is her family's, like I think this is her restaurant or her family's restaurant. But she's got a friend, Jacques, roaming around with her too. So hopefully we'll get to meet him later. But we put in an order and we got the warm chocolate almond bread that comes with the salted caramel butter on the side. Yeah. That we are going to dig into here and see what it tastes like. The chocolate almond bread, correct? Um, so you look at it and you think that you're eating like brown bread because it's brown and then there's butter with it. But then you take one bite and it's like a chocolate loaf. It's very interesting. It's almost like it's dessert. What about that butter? To begin with. The butter? Sounds I'm enjoying the butter. butter. Everything works together. It's just so weird because you never eat bread where, well, I guess you do like cinnamon rolls and stuff like that. I'm an idiot. It squicks. It doesn't taste like a dessert. You think it should do, but I don't think it does, personally. I think it tastes, it's very cocoa-y, and you can smell it coming off of the bread when they bring it to the table. They put it right in front of me, and I couldn't wait to dig in. Um, yeah, really, really good. It's been cooked to perfection, too. So if you look inside here, you'll see some like darker points, where it's still ever so slightly gooey. So, yeah, really impressed with it. I could, I could eat about three plates of that and not feel guilty at all. I agree with Oliver too. I, I thought like from the looks at it, I'm like, oh, that's going to be really sweet, very chocolatey, but it's more like I, the flavor of chocolate is a ter terrible way to describe it. But you know what I mean? Like it's got, yeah, it's got like that. It's not overwhelming. And I really do like that. The, the, the butter for me is the best part. I would say actually, now I'm thinking about it, you don't get whole almonds in it because it's almond bread. I think it's like an almond powder they must use because uh, the flavor's there, but you well, can't that's get a good the actual point, yeah. almonds in the bread. So, um, yeah, which I actually prefer. I think that's better that way. This is the Two Chocolate Stout. It is the signature beer here at Tucson Chocolate Emporium. Uh, it's brewed specifically for this place. It's a chocolate coffee stout, and it's probably brewed by Florida Beer Company, I'm guessing, who does all the rest of the ones. So let me try it. Hello. How are you today? Good. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. My name is Professor Dr. Penelope Devoting, a Tucson owner and proprietor of Tucson Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen. How is your afternoon? Wonderful. Yes. Have you already ordered? I see we're enjoying some chocolate almond bread. There's just so much to choose from here, and it looks amazing. Well, I'd it's... love to assist. Is there anything I can do? Uh, what's your favorite appetizer beside that chocolate bread? <laughs> you know what I have been loving lately is um, the black and tan onion rings. Oh, okay. And it comes with a ranch dipping sauce, and it has chocolate in the ranch. For those with very adventurous taste buds, yeah? Oh, awesome. It's very fun. What's the best entree? <laughs> What have I been enjoying lately? You know what is fun? We have a macaroni and cheese that has shrimp and crab in it. That's very good. Yeah, well, what about dessert? <laughs> dessert? Why do I get started with dessert? You do know the name of the establishment. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I recommend a milkshake. They are my favorites. In fact, if you run into Jacques, a robot, absent-minded thing running around, he loves milkshakes as well. They're his very, very favorite. And the one I would recommend to you today, I'd have to say, the hazelnut milkshake. Do you like Nutella? Oh, yeah. It's got Nutella right in it. It's just like Nutella. Very sweet and so good, yes? Awesome. Does that awesome. sound good? Anything yeah. else I can assist you with? Oh no, that sounds amazing. Right, I can't wait. <laughs> questions, just snag me as I walk by. Awesome. Enjoy your time. Thank you, Penelope. Thank you. Wow, well, that just happened here. 
the beer is great, by the way. <laughs> um, it, it's delicious. So if you like coffee, coffee, chocolate stouts, it's perfect. If you're not a fan of darker beers, it's not going to be for you. I got the chocolate covered candy bacon milkshake, something along those lines. It's the bacon milkshake. Dare I go crazy? It might be too much bacon. No. This is like Baconopolis. 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 It sounds like a city. Baconopolis. It's, it's a lot of bacon. Oh, you ruined it. Go Good job. What do you get? What'd you get that you just ruined before I came over here? The key lime, right there, it's sitting on top like that. The key lime milkshake. Um, the milkshake itself, see it's funny, Craig's was too uh, bacony, mine wasn't limey enough, but that's, you know, just my opinion. Um, it's not as thick as I thought it would be, but it's still, it's quite a good flavour, I just wish it was a bit more citrusy. I just want to try the, uh, the actual key lime on top. That's really good. The actual slice of key lime is amazing. Mmm. Very creamy. I got this cinnamon something, it's basically... It's a cinnamon toast crunch. It's cinnamon toast crunch ice cream, and then it's got the whipped cream with the cinnamon toast as the as the topping. I I'm gonna agree with Oliver. It's not as thick as you would think. It's actually maybe it was done a little before they topped it, and it melted a lot because Craig's is actually really thick, and then ours are like milky. It works though because it it feels like I'm drinking a um, the like cinnamon toast crunch cereal bowl when you're done with the cereal, and it's like just the right amount of all that flavor in here. So. I think that mine wins the table. I've got to tell you, the uh, brie dish is definitely unbelievable. I would say that eating here is a breeze. What? A breeze. Eating here is a breeze. Thank you, thank you. Chocolate brie. <laughs> I can't believe how much I liked it. We had the tachos, we had the brie, the baked brie, and we had the chocolate almond bread. And then with the brie, we got even more chocolate almond bread. Um, you know, it, it seems weird that it's a $2.95 item on the menu, but that uh, the chocolate almond bread, that's something. It's definitely something. I like the tachos. Um, I'm a, I am a sucker for uh, the uh, tater tots and I, I like it when they mix it with anything. These things have got like a, uh, a cheese in them, like a spicy sauce uh, and also pork belly. They're like $10.50. I agree with Oliver. I like the tachos. They're really good. They've got the pork belly and there's andouille sausage in there too, I believe. Um, but what I like is it's not like, they're kind of smothered, but not, it's not in your face. It's like they're still really good and I'm a sucker for tachos, so. I recommend those. So the manager, Josh, just brought us a couple of drinks, which I thought was really nice. He just came by, asked how everything was doing. He noticed Craig had gotten a beer, and he said, oh, you guys didn't get any mixed drinks. And he said, how about I bring you over some? And he just brought over some of his favorites. So he brought a, a cherry old-fashioned, a wicked, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, a chocolate old-fashioned, the wicked cherry, and then a banana, um, banana rum, banana, it looks like a martini. Um, they all look amazing and I can't wait to try them. I thought that was really cool. And I've had all three. I think the chocolate old fashioned is my favorite. Cause it's not, it's, it's like there's, it's chocolate, but it's not like in your face chocolate. For an old fashioned, I was expecting it to be a lot harsher, like the, with the whiskey in there, but it's, it's not, it's very, very smooth. Um, yeah. I don't know whether it's the chocolate that's doing that. He did also say that the orange peel in there is soaked in like a sugar, so it's a candy orange peel. That could be helping with that too, just taking that harshness away. Um, I am impressed with it. Personally though, not my favorite. I am a huge fan of the cherry, the uh, Wicked, cherry rum. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's very, very heavy on the alcohol. You can I would, yeah, I, I, my first yeah. sip, I was like, whoo, like it kind of yeah. took me because I didn't expect it to be as strong as it was. Which I don't normally ever think of strong drinks when I think of like theme park bars either, you yeah. know what I mean? And I felt, I felt quality with all of these. Craig, what was your favorite? I'd have to go with the old fashioned. Um, and I will teach Oliver a lesson. The reason why the old fashioned isn't as harsh and whiskey heavy is because of how the drink's made. So like a Manhattan would be your whiskey, vermouth, 
and then a little bit of bitters. But the old fashioned was back in like the 50s when it was popularized, the whiskey was so crappy back then that that's why they, they added all the extras with it. They made sure they covered the flavor of it. So uh, this does a good job of covering up the flavor of what is probably a very delicious whiskey that's actually in it. I don't know what he said, but it's I wouldn't call it chocolate heavy at all. It's just a solid drink. It's a uh, bird dog whiskey that they put in there. So yeah, thank you. I actually didn't know, um, I didn't know why that was. So thank yeah. you, Craig. Every day is a school day. Every day. I got the, uh, the brisket and mushroom meatloaf. Sorry, I had to think about what I even got. Um, it was very tasty, very delicious. Um, great meatloaf, uh, potatoes, garlicky, succulent, uh, the, the crispy onions on top. Crispy onions. How um, much It was $15.95 a very modest price for such a large entree, I'll say that. I got the, and I want to get it right here because it's got, a, it's got a good name to it, it's the Fork and Knife Grilled Ribeye Steak Sandwich. Um, and it was good. They don't ask you how you want your steak cooking, it's kind of like a, you're going to get it how it comes, but um, it was a good quality piece of steak because, you know, it didn't require any uh, extra chewing. The flavors were very good, it had the small onions on there, uh, great sauce, had tomatoes on there with a nice cheese. Um, my only critique of the whole dish is the bun wasn't grilled for long enough, it wasn't toasted enough. Um, you could still taste some of the melted butter on there, it was very soft. Uh, but apart from that, it was absolutely outstanding. And it was a modest $14.95. So I got the Blue Plate Burger. Let me read you the uh, description here so I don't mess it up. But um, it is a half pound homemade patty, grilled meatloaf, garlic mashed potatoes, Wisconsin cheddar cheese, sweet corn on a toasted brioche, and a Baudelaire sauce. $13.95. Oh my gosh, excuse me. It is, it's good. I mean, I was thinking it was like a meatloaf burger and then as I ordered it, I asked her and I was like, wait, the meatloaf is on top of a burger. I think it could probably do without the burger part in it because the meatloaf is really good. The mashed potatoes are really good. It's not like it detracts for it. It's just, that's a lot of meat in a sandwich for me. And uh, the Bordelais sauce, I almost wish that that, that was more of a, for me, when I eat my meatloaf, my meatloaf, I like a ketchup sauce, but the Bordelais sauce is really good. I opted to go with the uh, the kettle cooked um, potato chips as opposed to the fries, and I think that's the way to go. I tried some of Oliver fries. They're standard issue, um, uh, like universal fries. There's nothing special about them, but the the kettle cooked chips are actually really really good. There's even a burger they'll put them on the on the burger for you, which I'm always a fan of doing that with sandwiches and burgers and stuff. So I recommend it for sure. The berries and cream crepe actually might be my new favorite thing that we've had here. It is just, it is everything a crepe should be. It is a really thin pancake and it's got the lemon curd and the, the different types of berries and it is just absolutely lovely. This far exceeded my expectation. This is amazing. I. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, I could eat this. It's, honestly, it's really that good. If I came here, well, sorry, if, no. When I come here again, I'd be tempted to eat this as a dessert rather than whatever is on the dessert menu because it is that good. Yeah. Like, we're all full and we keep going back for more. It's really good. Well, that's the thing. This is on the brunch menu. Yeah. And instead of getting a real dessert tonight, we chose to go with a brunch item. And we thought this one sounded desserty, so that's why we did it. And Honestly, just I know I haven't had any of the desserts besides the milkshakes, but if we are going to compare this to anything else that we could have, I think this would still probably win for me. I think everything I had was really good, but this is the thing that will bring me back. Like, I thought I was going to come back before and I'd be like, oh, I'll come back. This is the thing where I was like, yeah, I'm coming back. This was real good. The lemon could inside of the, the crepe is delicious. So we just finished at the Chocolate Emporium. The Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. My Craig impersonation. Uh, and Savory Meat House or something. I don't know. Feast Kitchen. 
Savory Feast Kitchen. Uh, that is definitely what it is. It's, you've got to come here and expect it to gain a pant size. Yeah, I can, I'm having trouble breathing right now. I feel like I left two cups bigger than I went in. Yeah, I, I feel absolutely disgusting, and I think that's the mark of a restaurant that has something good going for it. We also, we were, as you can tell earlier in this video, we were very much gluttons when we walked in there. I mean, we each had our own milkshake. We had like three appetizers, We and then we had entrees, and then we got that dessert. So we deserve nothing but what happens to us this evening. Did you add in the milkshakes too? I did say three milkshakes. Yeah, three, three milkshakes, three apps, three entrees, one one dessert crate. It was $137. Three drinks. drinks, everybody had a drink too. Because the manager brought us those drinks. But those drinks were complimentary. Oh, you're yeah, just saying so. what you got. No, I meant, I meant what's inside of me right oh, now. Yeah. But yeah. 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 I will say, whilst we're on the topic of the milkshakes, I may have been a bit um, overexcited when describing them inside. I'd say that's probably my biggest disappointment on the collection. But apart from that, absolutely everything was spot on here. I would say that we ended by ordering that crepe at the very end. That was like the. That was the thing that just. I'm like, yeah. that's what you come back for. And how that much crate. was that crate? Twelve ninety five. Well, and, and what'd you say? How much was the whole bill? One hundred thirty seven. So we went a little crazy, and it was one hundred thirty seven for three people with more than enough food to feed like five. Yeah, there's you could feed a family of five with everything we got. Yeah, that's pretty Easy. good. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, I, I think you could easily do this one uh, for not that much money. Yeah, but so I would say like like I don't know. It, you know the stuff we like. Yeah, this was a solid example of there was absolutely nothing bad. There were just some things that were much better than other. Yeah, but it's definitely a place I look forward to the next trip here. And it, you described it inside as like it's an event place. Like it's a place you got somebody in from out of town. I think this is where you kind of like, oh, we're going to go eat somewhere cool tonight. I think this is where you break. Agreed. Yeah. So check it out. Let us know in the comments, maybe like, did you eat here? What milkshake did you get? Did you like it? What was your experience? All that jazz. Bye.